I think radio may be my favorite medium. Radio is magical. It's a cliche to say that radio is the theater of the mind, but it really is. And even right now, if you're looking at my image, and so this is essentially television, and if I tell you it's a beautiful spring day in Paris, you probably get an image of white puffy clouds and blue sky. But if I tell you right now that, in fact, it's unseasonably cold here in Paris and it's snowing and there's a layer of snow on the ground under the Eiffel Tower, you'll see that too. I just changed that image, even though you are, in fact, looking at me. It's not just radio. That's the magic of radio. And radio works anywhere. If you're going to watch a television show, you better not be ironing because you may burn your blouse. But with radio, you can spend two hours in the car commuting to work in Los Angeles. You can iron that blouse. Or you can engage people worldwide who may not have the money for a television set or the connection to a television set. They may not have the money for a newspaper or they may not be literate in the language that the newspaper is published. But with radio, you can reach anybody. In the midst of the flash of some of the so-called new media, it's sometimes easy to forget those, those uh, old friends, that medium that's been with us forever, it seems, and is there taking care of us today. That's why World Radio Day, UNESCO's World Radio Day, coming up February 13th, is so important. Events like this remind us that radio is critical as a communication tool for societies worldwide. It used to be that most, maybe even all, radio news announcers were men with the deep voice, what we call the voice of doom, offering you the dismal details of the Daily Downer. And there was thinking in the profession that you had to have that deep radio male voice in order to have credibility. It used to be said in the industry, boy, he's got the pipes. And if they wanted to insult the guy, they'd say, he sure has a voice for radio. Women had a hard time breaking into the radio news business because it was thought that both the femininity that was inherent in their voice and the range would not be able to deliver that sense of authority. Well, those days, of course, are long gone. And gender equality with radio announcers is reality because radio announcers in the current era represent society. That's where their credibility comes from, not from that deep voice.